Ew, what's up, Mini Nation? It's your boy Damian, and welcome back to the channel. We are here with week one of our IBA, the International Battling Association. I believe that's the actual name of it. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to uh, mute my phone. Uh, we have our week one battle starting now. I'm gonna live calm these. I'm literally home from dog sitting, literally for this battle. That is it, and I'm going right back there. <clears throat> but well, you'll see this battle on Sunday. Uh, I'll probably be back home a little bit later to edit it or whatever, but. Um, this is just a normal battle. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little excited for this. Uh, this man has some threats. I did not make a team builder for this week because I was a little busy, but we'll, we'll have team builders for the future. Okay. Sound good. Sound good. And right, my calcs up. Uh, let me tell you what he has. Um, he, his team is rocking out with. That's the team we're bringing, by the way. Uh, his team is rocking out with. He has a. Latias, a Zero Aura, a Fortress, an Umbreon, a Moltres, a Kriagono, a Megalopony, a Toxpex, a Tangrowth, a Mimic, and a Caracosta. The team I expect him to bring? Lottie, Zero Aura, Umbreon, Mimikyu, Tangrowth, Fortress. Those are the six I expect. Toxapex and Megalopony I also can see, and I also can see Cryo. Caracosta I don't think comes, and I don't think Moltres comes, but I can see it. I'm a little scared because like this team is good. His team is really good, but I have to hit his team as hard as heck. Um, my, my switch-ins are very limited to his team, but, um, Pangoro actually deals with the, uh... Uh, can deal with the Mega Lopunny. I literally have it so that it can do that. Um, but let's just see what he brings. We'll, uh, base our lead off of that. Uh, I brought Choice Spec Sticky Web. He doesn't have a ground type, by the way, but he has Zero Aura, so... Oh my gosh, there's no Mega Lopunny. Moltres, Latios... I'm upset. There's no Mega Low Bunny. Kara, Kara Costa. I did not think he would bring Kara Costa at all whatsoever. Umbreon, Zara, Aura, and Cryo. Cryogonal. I think that's how you call it. Oh, it's an O N A L. <laughs> Cryogonal. There we go. All right. So, um, my rocks, my rocks this week are on Seismitoad, if I'm not mistaken. He doesn't have hazard removal because he didn't bring Fortress. Oh, he's Cryo. He has Cryo. So I kind of leave it that. Just go with uh, that. But if he has, if he leaves Cryogonal, he's instantly gonna kill me. My only issue with this is that, like, I just want to leave with Charge Bolt and then just Volt Switch on something. Or I can leave Mega Arrow. And go from there? Oof. Uh, I, I either want to lead Seismitoad. Do I have Parting Shot on this thing? I have 10 seconds. I'm, I'm going to lead I'm gonna lead Seismitoad like I want to. We're going to lead Seismitoad. Oh, I should have led uh, Deku. We're going to lead Seismitoad. I think that's the right play. If he leads Zero Aura, I can Oko it. I have no doubt in my mind I can Oko it. But uh, let me message him. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. Smiley face. And I haven't paddled Wi-Fi in so long, dude. Been a minute. Two, bro. Oh, shoot. I need to turn on. What's it called? Streamer mode on. He leveled with Kriogonal. Okay. So I'm switching out. I'm going to go right into Skeela. Because if he has what's it called, I don't want to deal with it today. And he doesn't have a grass type, so this is free uh, leech seeds on everything. I'm going right out. There's no reason for me to stay in. Uh, I think Kriogonal gets spikes, but I could be wrong. Uh, I should probably put up Team Builder and have like an extra team here just to look up the Pokemon sets. Cryogonal. Do you get spikes? No. Do you get rocks? No. I think he's going to freeze dry me. I think that was his only play here. Yeah. Let me chew, so that's fine. Alright, I'm just putting some stuff in. Hold on. Zara, Aura. And let me calc that damage. Took me down to like 54, I think. This thing has... Freeze... Dry. Okay, so Celesteela. Yeah, there was no reason for me to stand. I know what my move is, so I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock and leave scene in a second. 
I can heavy slam here, but I don't think he's going to stay in. He's probably going to go into like Umbreon or Moltres or something along those lines. So I just want to give him a, give it a second on Leech Seed it. But cry, cry, cryogonal. Freeze dry does 19 to 22%. So if that took me down to 154, that's 25%. So he seems a little more offensive than his bulky self. So I'm going to go for a leech seed here. Uh, try to get a little HP back on Deku because he has to switch out. He went for a knockoff? He just dies. Missed our first leech seed. That's lit. Um, I'm going to go for heavy slam then, I guess. No, I should have knocked. I should have went for leech seed again. Knock off. That's unfortunate because that was good. Yeah, the Moltres comes in for free there. I knew that. I, I should have just leech seeded. Leech seed was the right play. Uh, if he goes for sunny day here, that's fine. And I get burned. Oh my gosh, dude. Name something that didn't go wrong in the first like two turns. I literally just got hacked out in like the first two turns of this game. I missed. It. Oh, God, bless America, dog. Love this game. Um, I want to go into Kirishima, but there's no reason for me to get aggressive here and just go into this Pokemon. That sucks a lot, actually. Moltres. Like, Creogonal still doesn't do anything to me. That's the funny part. Um, he doesn't do much to me. Um, I'm gonna go into... Because if he has... If he's a Sunny Day set... Is Froppy my best play here? It's not a Z user, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I'm going to Finny. Finny's a better play here. No, I don't have a water type move. Crap. What's my bright play here? Because he goes for Kirish. If he goes to the sunny day, right? I go into Aerodactyl. I definitely kill the Stone Edge. Bearing I don't miss it. I'm going to go into Kirishima here. That's the right. I think that might be the right play. Because even if he, um. This is just dumb hacks to start the game. That was just stupid. I should 100% of the time goes for Fire Blast. Hey, I was rewarded. Okay, so he's Fire Blast on this thing. I don't know what his items on any of his Pokemon are yet, but uh, because I didn't do damage to anything, so that was cool. Um, I'm gonna Mega, and in what universe does he switch out? I don't want to. I don't want to risk that. Stone Edge. What's his switching? He doesn't really have one. I can click Stone Edge for free here. I'm gonna do it. There's not much that wants to take a Stone Edge here. Caracosta? I don't think Caracosta really wants to take this hit here. Cara... Cara... Car... Car... How do you spell Caracosta? Holy crap. Oh, it's two A's. Okay, so he's not Shell Smash. Nice to know. Uh, and he has leftovers on this thing. This makes me want to go right into um, Charge Bolt. My gal. Because he has no ground type. And Thunder does massive amounts of damage to literally everything on his team. Bug Buzz also takes this thing out. Because that seemed more defensive based off the arrow damage. Because Stone Edge does 28 to 35. That looked about 28 to 35 ish. So he looks very defensive. If he goes for Shell Smash here, I don't lose, but it's tough. I kind of, I need to get, I think I want to go Charge Bolt. Because if he scalds me, knocks me off, whatever. I could see Stealth Rocks here. I could see Rocks here. My only Rock Remover is Defog. And I don't want to get Rocks or any webs up with that up. I'm going to go straight into Charge Bolt. I can see him going for Rocks here. And I can go Finny in. I can Volt Switch, get Finny in after that, and just go for that. So this is fine. Let's go. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So here's the stealth rock. He can't. He can, he knows he can't take a thunder, right? To be fair, he can't really take a bug buzz either. Um, and that makes me want to click it. 
I'm personally going to Volt Switch, and if he goes Umbreon, I'm going straight into Finny. So, even if he goes Lottie, his, both his switch-ins, I go to Finny for. Oh, shoot. He has a Zero Aura just sitting there. I'm so dumb. I should have clicked Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz would have killed this thing. Bug Buzz hurts this thing. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I locked in my move way too fast. I should have just went for uh, Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz was the right play. Uh, so, this thing has Rocks. This thing has Lefties. I made a very poor play there. Uh, Zero Aura hurts me. What's my switch into Zero Aura? Uh, pray he doesn't go Zero Aura here? That's a good switch for me. That's a really good switch for me. How much is a Cryogonal top... Uh, cry cryogonal... How much is a freeze drive from Cryogonal doing to Fini? He's not as bulky. He's not Life Orb, so does that. It does get. Oh, wait, hold on. Tapu Fini. Um. Let's make it Defog off. Which I think is infinitely more important because I can go right into Steela. Because at least I can, uh. This is like way more important. <clears throat> and he can't click like toxic or anything on me. That's cool too. He has lefties on this thing too. Okay. Uh, if we lose our leftovers on this mon, it's not that important. But getting these rocks is way more. Rid of these rocks is way more important. I'm gonna defog. I wonder why he thinks- I wonder what he's thinking on why I went into this Pokemon. Pangoro is like a throwaway mod in this game. Like, it bops Cryogonal. I guess it helps with Zara Aura to an extent. Just for Freeze Dry, which we, we knew was coming. We take really well. Alright, just want to get the rocks off. So that 166, how much did that do actually? 166 took me down to 100 even. Did 40 something percent. He could be just modest max special attack. It's possible. I'm gonna go into Deku, and this is where I click Leech Seed and pray we don't miss this one. Because if he goes to Moltres here, that's fine. We just want to get the defog off. We just want to get rid of rocks. That's our goal. It's dark in here. Sorry, guys. That's better. And sorry for the awkward face cam. I, I didn't really have a chance to set up anything. We, we should have our Wi-Fi. Uh, I, I couldn't find it on my drives. So I'll have to look for it. Hopefully we'll have it for next battle. Also, we'll have not the Davion merch. We'll have our Vegas stuff for the rest of it. Because it's supposed to, it was supposed to get here today. And I'm recording this. But <laughs> they had a problem with shipping. So it'll get here the two days after the day I'm recording this. So I'll have it for next vid. Don't worry. So we have freeze dry knockoff. Uh, lefties on Caracosa, lefties on Cryogonal. He clicked Fire Blast and Moltres. I just hope that I can get this off. Seismitoad is just the hardest lead for this. That's all. I need to get Seismitoad in and get Rocks up because Rocks cuck his team. His only defogger is Lottie. His only way of removing Rocks is Lottie. Oh, I lied. Cryogonal. D. Okay, I think he would have switched out first if he would have went. If he would have switched. So he's staying in. I think he's going to click Freeze Drive again. Yeah, I have to get this Leech Seed off here. It's massively important that I get this Leech Seed off. That burn really sucks, though. Not gonna lie. It's massively important I get this Leech Seed off. I need to not miss this two times in a row. Losing lefties sucks, too. Because, like, honestly, missing that would have... Was okay. He knows in any other universe, I Heavy Slam and Kill. But I have no reason not to click it. If he goes for freeze drive again, so be it. I can... I'll get more HP back than uh, I lost because of the uh, Leech Seed. Leech Seed is based off the opposing HP. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. And this thing's also pretty speedy, if I'm not mistaken. It outsped Tapu Fini. Actually, it can have zero speed and it still outspeed Tapu Fini. Celesteel doesn't have speed either, right? Yeah, okay. Who did I invest speed into? Galvantula for sh doesn't for sure outspeed this thing. Actually, uh, Aerodactyl does. 
Uh, so if this bomb goes down, I go into arrow and I click uh goes for freeze drag again. We can live it. Don't miss. Thank you. Alright, let's start leeching this thing's life away. If I would have heavy slam there, this thing would have been dead. I'm pretty sure even with burn this thing dies, right? I would have lived. Okay, see, now I want to click Protect, because I think he, he knows he can kill me with a Freeze Drive, right? Or I go into Gran Torino. Either way. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my Fighting type, because I can click Knock Off. I should not get burned by Moltres. That'd be lovely. Deku lives to fight another day. Deku lives to fight. Deku was supposed to do so much more this fight, but get cucked. He literally got knocked off, flame body burned. Like, the first turn was just unfortunate. The first three turns were just really unfortunate for me. We can fight back from it, though. We're not in the worst position. I'm not, like, locked in either because I was supposed to battle, like, an hour ago. And then it just, like, I need to, like, focus. I, I really am out of it, you know? I haven't played. I haven't won a, a, a battle, a, like, league battle in so long, dude. It's been a while. Like I'm playing MPL right now off off like recording and stuff. It's it's fun. I'm just having won a game. <laughs> I'm like 0-7. Oh <laughs> uh we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's it's all good though. I'm not too I'm not tripping too hard about losing games right now. It's not that deep to me. Okay, he stays in. You gotta click freeze dry again, right? This I fully expect Moltres to come in off of this. We resist. Oh, we don't resist. Why do I think fighting resists ice? Eh, I'm tripping. But we will get HP back for this, which is nice. I'm not going to lie to you. Even if I get burned. Does he switch into this? Knockoff does 40 to 47%. I think no matter what I do here, I click knockoff. Like, what's this switch into a knockoff? He doesn't really have a good one. Like, even if I get burned, again, Gran Torino's not that good in this matchup. It, it, it hits Umbreon, and that's about it. Like, Lottie, I guess it's good for Lottie, too. I guess Pangora's a little bit better than I thought it was in this matchup. But either way, I'm okay with clicking knockoff, doing a lot of damage to something, and then getting out. Because, like, even if he clicks, like, Toxic or something here, like, a knockoff does, like, massive amounts of damage, so... We're adamant max tech. Honestly, getting rid of whatever Moltres' item is is important too. That leech seed is helping. Um, just how often does flame body pop? It's thirty percent, right? Umbreon. This is fine. That's. I'm gonna click drain punch here. Is that? <laughs> Imagine if I drain punched. I didn't see what it had, but I can write no item now. At no item. So there's no rocks on the field. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting good. I mean, even if it goes Moltres here, like Moltres doesn't do much to me, does it? Oh, that's Hurricane. That's right. Oh, not level 100, please. Uh, Fire Blast doesn't, uh, I mean, I do 27 to 32 and pray that a 30% flame body doesn't pop on me. Pretty much. Basically, I need Scald not to happen. I should have clicked knockoff again, predicting the Moltres here. Yeah. He doesn't nickname his Pokemon. I'm devastated. Yo, as long if I don't get hit with uh what's it called right now? That's good damage. I'm gonna knock it off. I think we're good. Thirty percent chance, dude. Thirty percent chance, man. Game's phenomenal. 
It's a game, a phenomenal gaming experience, dog. I still might make, I make my play into Kirishima again. It's a phenomenal gaming experience, dog. What a phenomenal gaming experience. I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a good time. Are y'all having a good time? I'm having a great time. Uh, to Caracosta, I do a lot. Why do Stone Edge and Earthquake do the same amount of damage? That's just upsetting, you know? Like, I... I, I should have knocked off. This is Pokemon's useless at this point. If he has Roost, he has Roost. But all he's shown is Fire Blast, you know? I assume a Hurricane is coming. I'm just genuinely upset by that. Lands this one. If that would have burned, I would have screamed. I'm gonna pursue this thing. He doesn't stay in. I'm gonna pursue. There's no way on this universe he stays in. And it might kill it. I'm gonna do it. He doesn't stay in. Can I get a crit? So my Pokemon are burned. So Steel is, Steel is dead, basically. This Pangoro is dead. Kirishima doesn't have Roost, so this is unfortunate. He's risked his Kyriagonal twice. I could have killed that Pokemon two times already. Also, Umbreon could have been dead two times over. Ah, okay. That's fine. I'm expecting rocks again. And on honestly? I'm going into my own water type. I feel the stealth rocks coming. So I'm gonna go into my own water type here. What's this switch into this thing? Lottie? Imagine being able to miss rocks. Be lit, dog. Mm, 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 mm. Can I live with rocks on the field for the rest of the game? Probably. I don't think he stays in. If he stays in on me, I'm gonna. Uh, I would have died. Then Cryogonal. Could I have Earth Powered and kill this thing? I think it's Levitate. Duh. <sighs> um, I'm gonna go into... I'm gonna go into my Pangoro! Again! And click Drain Punch! Because if he spins here, it's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna click Drain Punch. No matter what, I kill something and I get HP back. I don't kill something, but I think it's seriously hurt. I kind of want to click Knock Off. I think Knock Off's a better play, but I think I'm gonna Drain Punch for uh, GP because even if I'm burned, he's not like. In what universe does he stay in? You know. So he's Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Freeze Dry. Insert fourth move here, with Lefties. Because even if he goes Moltres here, Moltres is dead. Because their aura takes a lot of hit. Umbreon takes like, uh, probably not as much because I'm burned, but. I think it's the Spadef version. It still takes 37 to 44%. After rocks, I think that kills. It has no item. Because it already took the knockoff. So. And Moltres, even though I'm burned. I mean, I know we got the spin off should die 13 to 15 percent and Moltres is no longer a threat so he withdraws to what caracosta that's good like really good right 
Bro, what? Jesus, dog. This thing is bulk.net. I'm gonna knock off. I'm gonna get rid of this thing's item. Because Pangoro is not very useful anymore. I still have my rocks on the field, which is fine. If he clicks Shell Smash here, that sucks. But, like, he not have recovery, so it's fine. And he has leftovers, not... What do you think I was going to switch to? Would he run Shell Smash Lefty Stealth Rock? Is that the play? Hey, he has to be max defenses. That did like 20%. If that. I have to knock off its item. I still don't know what Moltres' item is. So it has an item. I just don't know what it is. Lottie hasn't even hit the field yet. Zerora hasn't even hit the field yet. So, got that going for us. The problem is I need to get rocks off of my side of the field so that my, um, my, I can just click bug buzz now. What stops me from spamming bug buzz? Nothing. Zero aura? Can zero aura Oko a Galvantula? Who draws? That's huge unless he's a, uh, what's it called? E belt's gone. That's huge, actually. So there's no item on that thing now. I think I'm just gonna stay in. Cause without an E belt, what can you do to me? Act like straight up. You close combat me, 140. I still have my chopper berry. You don't have an item. This is good. This is fine with me. I'm gonna click drain punch. Like I'm burned. Oh no no no! Hold on, I gotta type in the burn. Like I still do like 30%. This is okay. Half his team takes damage from Pangoro. Pangoro was a lot more important than I thought it was. That burn sucks. Also, when I knocked off, Moltres is dead. Here comes Grass Knot. Get that over prediction coming. I see it. Let's get that Drain Punch going. You got that uh, Grass Knot. I like it. I like it. Do you want to hear something really funny? He doesn't have a switch in. He has zero switch ins to bug buzz now. Not a bug bug. Nothing lives a bug buzz. Cryogonal is like low. Or no, it's not low. But it, it hurt. It got hit. Um, Moltres was the big one for, for clicking bug buzz. Now he definitely doesn't because this thing is half HP. I'm just going to click Drain Punch again. I should have sacked Deku. No, this is okay sack. This is okay sack. Deku doesn't do much either, but I can save it for a sack later. I'm gonna just call it now and say this Pokemon dies. Pangoro, you did a phenomenal job, dog. He doesn't have a bug buzz switching. Without an E belt, this whole gonna does 46 to 50. Oh, wait, hold on. Wrong Pokemon. Knockoff does 50 to 59. That's the most damage he can do to me. Bug Buzz is 84 to 100, even. 100% kills at this range. The only problem is I don't speed lot. I don't not speed a Lottie, I think. But he can't switch into it. That's the only thing. Thunderbolts. So he's full special? Okay. Thunderbolt. Kangaroo, you did a phenomenal job, dog. Okay, I'm gonna make the play here. He doesn't have the E belt. If I go Seismitoad here, that's the wrong Pokemon. Seismitoad versus Zara Aura. You're 100% special, right? What's your fighting type of? Grass Knot with the Rindo. Uh, you don't have a Life Orb, you don't have any of this, okay? Cool. Let's say you're max, whatever, right? Okay. A Scott will kill from this range? So I'm going to click Scald here. No doubt in my mind. He's probably like, what the f What? Scald does massive amounts of damage to a lot of things, and I can get a burn. Do not care. Yes, withdraw. This is what we wanted. Cryogonal, I hope this I hope this hits him with the nicest. Please burn. Please burn this thing. That's good damage. Burn this thing. Thank you. Redemption. 
Thank you, game. All right, I'm going to sack Steely here. Can Finny live? Actually, Finny can live a, what's it called, freeze guy. I'm going to sack Steely here. And then we're going to go into Finny, get a defog off. And then uh, I think I just win with Galv. The only problem is Latias. Literally, that's my only issue is Latias. And if it's if it's Specs or Z move, it kills me with a Draco. But I 100% kill with a Bug Buzz. What's my answer to that now? Aerodactyl, probably. Stone Edge is 60 to 73. Latias might win the game. I might lose to Lottie. Actually, I don't lose to Lottie if Tapu Fini's around. So actually, I have to keep Tapu Fini around. Recovers his last move. That's fine. So recover leftovers, knock off Rapid Spin. Dar, does Galvan actually kill this thing now? Thinking about it? Does 36 to 43 with Bug Buzz, but it's not calm. I don't think he's calm nature. We're dead either way. I'm gonna click Heavy Slam on the off chance. Goes for knockoff. Imagine he lived this. <laughs> Sell, uh, steal, uh, dies to cryogonal knockoff. I have to get the default off. Freeze drive doesn't. Freeze drive doesn't. Freeze drive does not kill me. I go and defog off. He doesn't really get rocks back up. I should be okay. He doesn't kill me with this. We've cal we calc this. It did like. It did not a lot of damage. Right? I got a defog here. So that, because there's no way that a, uh, because I definitely can outpace it. I can out I can outpace the Cryogonal. We live this. Whew. It's close. We lived it though. Alright. So now. He can just spam freeze around the rest of my team, no doubt. That um Leech Seed missed early game was really tough. Okay, this is my answer to this thing. I was at 89 and it took me to 11. Hold on, I want to calc something real quick. 89. Took me to... 11. They did 44%. He cannot be specially bulking. There's no way around it. He can have bulk invested, but he definitely has some attack investments. I think he's max special attack mod. So that's just me. Like, max HP, max special attack modest. Alright, so we should be able to take this fairly well. Lit. And I click Bug Buzz. Now, unless he, like, crits me, we're fine. These two Bug Buzzes will kill. As far as I see. Oh, he also has, a sp he also has, to, has, has to have speed. I don't see him having speed investment and being faster than me. That's all. Yeah, okay. Okay. As long as we don't get crit, this should kill. Thank you, game. Because to be fair, I can work around everything else. Because Aerodactyl can win the game. At this point. Plus, with no rocks up, uh, this Pokemon can come back in and kill things. It can kill Umbreon. It can kill Caracosta. Zeraora. Uh, not Zeraora. Caracosta. Uh, the, the, the last, the Moltres, those three. It can, it outspeeds them. At least I think it outspeeds Moltres. Yeah. It outspeeds those last few mods. Unless Moltres is Scarfed. It could be Scarfed. I didn't think about that.
This should, in theory, kill. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be kind of upset. That's upsetting. I lose. I'm just gonna call it there. That's it. That's it for me, Chief. I mean, I'll try. I have chance. I have a chance, but like. That was. <sighs> Mineral, two flame things. It's It sucks, dog. It is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna click. I have to click Stone Edge because if he goes Moltres here, I lose it. And I don't wanna do. I don't wanna get burned. No, I click Pursuit. I click Pursuit because if he switches out, then it dies still. That's very upsetting. I wonder what his spread was. I'll have to look at it at the end of the game. I just want to get 6 0 I mean, like, everything's low. I have, I have mons that are low. I can kill things. I know I can. I know my team has the capability of finishing things off. I, uh, that's so upsetting, though. Cool, this thing's dead. Aerodactyl kills Cryogonal with Pursuit. Pursuit. Alright, not too bad then, I guess. That's upsetting, though. <sighs> okay. Okay, no, the freeze dry is no longer a thing though. That's the big, big thing here. And we made sure to calc to outspeed Zero Aura. Yes. In every universe, we outspeed a Zero Aura. I can EQ it. The only issue I think we have is the Latios, because it hasn't touched the field yet. I do 60 to 70 with a, um, We don't live at Draco anymore because we um, lost our bulk. Caracosta is switching. Okay, hold on. Now, I'm sorry, with the bulk, the bulk version of this Pokemon, do 30% with that. And I know I, I know I kill with an Earth Power. What's his earth power switch in? His switch into this Pokemon is Lottie. But if I go Feeny here, I know I outspeed it. I can get a Nature's Madness off. Or defog away whatever he wants. Go into Froppy. Click Earth. Probably Scald, because I prefer to burn this thing right now. Scald is probably the better play just because of what his switch ins are. Like if I can burn Lottie. Or, Mol or kill Moltres, that's fine. I have a chance to win this game. This game's not over. I just have to play this, like, very smoothly. Gonna go for rocks. Yeah, we have to keep rocks off field. That's basically the goal here. Um, if he wants to have a little rock battle with me, that's fine. The good part about it is I kill... Does this thing get water absorbed? No, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna defog. I have to keep rocks off field for uh my last two mons. Not even my last, just Aerodactyl. Ooh, Toronto won game five. I told them I told people Toronto were ballers. Nobody listened to me, man. It's fine, if you wanna kill me, you can kill me. I'm recording. I, I can't right now. I can't do anything right now. Stone Edge lands. It's fine. Tapu Fini. Dies to Kara Costa. Stone Edge. Okay, so I know. I know I can hit this thing for good damage. I don't think he can hit me for good damage, unless he carries knockoff. 
You knock out, it literally all he's clicked is Stone Edge and uh, Stealth Rock. But even then... Can he break my sub? I'm gonna substitute on this thing. If he wants to go for Stealth Rocks, this might be my like last resort Pog play of the game. I'm gonna do it. What is he going into? Lottie? Okay. I know I lose the Lottiest 1v1, but Lottie doesn't get Dragon Dance, right? And if I burn this thing, I have enough damage off Psychic. We can live one of those. I know we can. I know for a fact we can live a psychic. Hold on, this game's not over yet. I need a burn. Oh, he has lefties on everything. Did he not prep? Jesus Christ, dog. Uh, I'm upset. I kind of made bad plays here and there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, opening play, I should have just um, I should have just double seated. Uh, Sleep seat was always my play. The problem with the early game was that I missed Leech Seed to start. Um, and then Cryogonal just clicked Freeze Dry a bunch of times, got free Freeze Dries off, and I got burned in the process. If I burn here, I, I can have I get a chance to win. Yeah, this game. Um, I don't think Arrow lives a hit, and Caracosta definitely stops me. So, that's GG. I, I clicked the wrong move. GG. Early game screwed me. I, I, honestly, the 30% flame body on both my Pokemon is what did me in. He was able to freely stay in on everything, so that sucks. Uh, but it is what it is, man. You can't get mad at hacks. Hacks will always be there. Uh, I have to e Stone Edge crit here. Uh, kill this thing. And then... Um... Basically go from there. Uh, he's probably going to click a Z move to flex on me. That's a, that's a really bad L, too. It's a really bad L. That's just my fault. Ugh, it, it comes down to me, man. Unfortunately, he's Thunderbolt. Why did you run Thunderbolt on this thing? Why? So, that's upsetting. That's on me, though. I can't be mad. Uh, GG's to him. He played well. Uh, Caracosta. Caracosta was bulk. Dot net. I had the answers to it. Um, I just didn't play well at all. What killed something? Aerodactyl? Yeah, I didn't get 6 0 I know that. I am recording. Please give me like two seconds. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, he didn't play. He says he didn't play for it. You always play for Flame Body Burns. Literally, it was your switch. <sighs> Never mind. The only reason you switched. <sighs> you had. <sighs> Never mind. I'm not even going to get into it. It's not worth. It's not worth. Um, I had the worst loss so far of the week. So that sucks, I think. But um, we can bounce back. I, I'm a title or bust. I'm not. I, I might make switches on this team. But I'm more upset with the L than at the end of the day. Uh, I got hacks pretty bad, too. That was unfortunate. But it is what it is. Can't really can't really get mad at it. Um, it's the game. It's not his fault. I'm going to go by, though. Thank you guys for watching. It's the Minish from Bodega, man. I'm out.